Hello everybody and welcome back and right now let us continue with coding our advanced scanner. So let me just nano the program itself and in the previous video as we saw we were we managed to actually create the help options for our user. Right now let us create the port scan function which we specified as the last line of our main function. So let us actually unhash this and let us use a simple usage of actually running the main function which is common in Python, which goes like this, if name equals to underscore underscore main, underscore underscore, whoops, then run the main function. So let us now code the port scan function itself. As we saw right here, the port scan function takes two arguments, which is the host and the ports. So let us code it right here, def port scan, Make sure to name it the same as you named it in the main function, otherwise this will not work. And then we need to specify the two arguments which we specify right here, which will be the host and the port or ports. We need to end it with the two dots and everything that is tapped into under this function will be the part of the code. So first of all, what we want to actually do is what if the user specifies a domain name instead of the IP? We want to actually resolve that domain name and actually get the IP address of that target. So for example, if a user uh, typed minus H for the host and then after the minus H typed google.com. If our program didn't resolve that google.com into an IP address, this program will crash and it basically won't be able to scan since it doesn't really know what google.com is. So what we will do is we will use a function called get host by name in order to do that but sometimes it might actually crash. So let's use a try and accept rule, which will try one thing, which will be the resolving of name. And in case it can't resolve the name under the accept thing, we will actually specify uh, uh, to print out can't resolve the name of the host. So let's see what we actually first need to do in order to resolve the name. So, or the IP address from the name. So actually what we need to do is actually make a a variable which we'll call target IP and that target IP will host the IP address of the host. So we need to get host by name, which is the function we use. And from that, we will specify in that function, the target host, since that is the host that we need to get the IP from. So this is the entire function that we need to specify for this. And in, in the except, we will just print can't resolve uh, target host or something like that. Or let's just print unknown host and print something like this. Oops, the percent sign and then S and then we can close this and then type percent sign and then target host. What this will print is basically if you remember with the percent %t command, this is the same thing, just this is referring to a string. The first thing, we need to make this single quote, so this will actually work. So let's recap what this will do. It will try to get host by name, or basically get the IP address, and in, if that doesn't work, it will print unknown host, and then it will print the host name. So right after that, we actually want to print that it is trying to uh, scan the host itself. So let us just uh, run the another try and accept rule right after this first one. So we ran the first try and accept rule in order to get the host by name. And right now we want to actually get the name so we can print it out. So target name equals get host by address and then from target IP. Now, as we can see, these are similar functions, but they do the, the opposite one from another. This one gets the host name or basically the IP address from the host name and this one gets the, the name from the address. So right now, once we actually type that, we want to actually print and let's add a plus right here and let's actually print scan results for and then we can just do it like this and then add the target IP. What this will do is it will will basically print out scan results for that IP address. Or no, we want to actually 
do this in the accept rule so pardon me this is not a part that goes right here so let me just delete this this is the part that goes right here so paste this under the accept and in the try we actually want to print the target name so print and we want to type it right here with a plus so it knows everything works well scan results or and then we can add the target name and since target name uh, we can actually try since target name retrieves as a list we need to use the first element of that list which we will specify with this zero in the uh, square brackets now uh, if you're not familiar with the lists or basically the counting in python the counting always starts from zero and not one so the first uh, element in the target name list will be uh, marked with the number zero and not with the number one so now that we did that we can actually use the function that we used in the previous video which is set default timeout so we don't actually wait for an eternity for a single port to scan so set default timeout to be for example one second and right now we can perform a similar function or a similar part of code that we performed in our previous program so for uh, for target port so for target port in target ports which basically means for every port in all of the ports that you specified in the command we want to actually run a different function which will scan those ports and we want to run all of those ports with a, uh, with a different thread so how can we do that we will use a variable called t to select a thread and we will use thread open brackets close brackets and right here what we want to do is type your target equals and after this target equals we need to specify the name of the function which will perform the scanning of the ports so we will call that function for example connection scan so con scan then comma arguments for that function will be actually just the uh, the target host and the target port so make sure to separate by comma then args equal open to open brackets and close brackets and in those open and close brackets we specify target host and we specify the integer of the target port we close the brackets for this so make sure you have three brackets at the end since we opened one two and three brackets we need to close all of those three brackets now basically uh, you might be asking why are we using integer well we use integer from the same reason that we used it in the previous video or pardon me in the previous program which is the port scanner 2.py i believe uh, since uh, the socket library actually needs an integer value of port in order to be able to scan it and all we have to do right now is actually start all these ports so in order to start the port you just use this variable and add it a function called start simple as that and all we have to do right now which we will do in the next video is actually code a simple connect and connect function which will determine whether the port is closed or open so that's an easiest part so don't worry we already performed most of those things the same and we will finish the program in the next tutorial so hope i see you there and take care bye